We begin tonight with summer, by far the busiest time of the year for tourism in Colorado Springs. People come from all over the world to visit attractions like Guard of the Gods and Pikes Peak. So it's something of an understatement to say COVID-19 has put a major dent in this current season. Tonight we're learning just how much of an impact and for how long. Cardio News Channel 13's Chase Golightly joins us live in our newsroom tonight with what our summer season is going to look like. Chase. Heather Bard, right about now is when local travel agencies get hundreds of clients wanting to come to our town. But tourism officials say this summer is going to be a completely different story. It's no surprise the Colorado Springs Airport has hit a 25-year low for travel. COVID-19, halting most family vacations. But Doug Price, the CEO for Visit Colorado Springs, says this is no temporary bump in the road. There's no question that there's going to be an economic impact, probably for the next few years. He says until people are comfortable with getting on planes, staying at hotels, and being around large groups, things might be in a lull for a while. It is going to take a little while for this to, to really come back to what the new norm is going to be. Main attractions that hold more than 10 people are already closed, along with eight local hotels. And all these cancellations are something travel agencies in Colorado have never seen before. Something like this hasn't truly happened on, on a global scale any time during any of our lifetimes. Local travel agents Aaron Jones and Ahmed Cher telling us they typically have hundreds of reservations this time of year. People coming both in and out of Colorado Springs, but not this year. All the reservations that we made for people traveling in summer are far future. They all got canceled. We are actually not taking bookings for any more during the rest of this year. In fact, we probably will not be taking any bookings until well into 2021. Both say it's for the safety for the clients, but some hope the cancellation of larger travel plans could translate to a slight bump later this summer. The leisure social families that say we want to go take a trip somewhere and they're going to be able to drive here and they'll be able to enjoy all the things that we have to offer. From what we've seen, we can expect the lakes and hiking trails to draw some tourists as restrictions loosen. After all, people right now feel safer in their cars and in open areas where they can safely keep their distance. As far as putting a number on the economic hit, Doug Price with Visit Colorado Springs says it's a little too early to tell, but we'll be sure to keep you updated as the impact comes into clearer focus. Reporting live in our newsroom, Chase Golightly, KRDO News Channel 13.